hey guys welcome back to another video my name is key i am a candle maker an entrepreneur a mother all of that exciting stuff so yes in today's video i'm gonna talk to you guys about quitting my candle business no not me i'm not quitting my candle business but this is some things that i've heard people say i've also seen people on here talk about the struggles of being a candle maker and also just randomly people wanting to give up if that's not being able to get your candle strong to not getting interactions that you think that you should get from people from your social medias not growing the way that you would like them to and believing you should be in a certain place that you should be in by now if you've been doing this for a long time so if this read you get you a drink coffee water whatever your thing is um, and let's just jump right into the video. So yeah guys, I've been a candle maker for six years now and I can't begin to tell you the struggles that I have personally went through with being a candle maker and an entrepreneur myself. Um, I'm speaking from experience and hoping to help someone out there. We're all in this together. I just said the other day, like, um, what did I say? I said, if you feel like somebody is competition, they've already won. We have to stop comparing ourselves because co comparing yourself is the enemy. It steals your joy. It makes you think that you're not good enough or you're not doing a good enough job. And that's just not true. We are all here on different journeys and God, the universe is using us in different ways that we are supposed to be used our purpose. So yeah, I just wanted to say that because you just never know. And I know how it is to, to post something on social media and you put a lot of work into it and nobody's liking it i know how that feels i know how it feels to have people view your stuff but not really interact i know how that feels and i just want you to know that it is okay people are still watching you you are still in the feed so don't let that be discouraging like I just told you, girl, I've been in business for six years and I still make great quality content. Like I'm very confident in the quality of the content that I'm creating. And I really don't have that many people interact still to this day. I have enough people to where I know that they're genuine. I know that they're genuine with them liking my content, they're true supporters and true followers. So even though you may not get that many likes or whatever the case may be, you cannot let that stop you because that's just a part of the game. Like social media is such a blessing, but can also be very discouraging. So yeah, don't let that stop you or affect you from posting because you have to post. You never know what video is gonna get you on or get you new customers. And even if that's just one customer, that is okay. A lot of times we get so wrapped up because we see people blowing up overnight on TikTok, or we get so wrapped up in seeing people with millions of followers and all of the views and love and comments and stuff that they get. You cannot let that discourage you. And again, you cannot compare yourself to that. Do the best you can. And I'm also going to say this too. You got to keep it real with yourself. If you know that your quality, if you know that your content is not quality, then you need to fix that. 
if you know that, and this is a deep within knowing, guys, I've been through this. This is why I can speak on it. It's really not me telling you guys what to do. We are all in this together. But that is the honest truth. Like, you really have to dig deep within yourself and be like, okay, what am I doing wrong? What can I be doing better? How can I up the quality? You have to set your intentions. Like, is this something that I really want to do? Do I really want this to be my career? Do I love doing this? Because I'm telling you now, if you love something, you're going to put your all into it. Our businesses are like our babies. So when something doesn't go right or we are doing the best that we can and it's just not going right, you feel depressed. Like, emo emotions are all over the place when you are an entrepreneur. You can feel depressed, sad, happy, high vibrational, low vibrational. It's just all a part of it. And people call us crazy for going down this path, but I feel like we're living. We're living. And that brings me to the next thing that I want to talk about. Don't let anybody talk you out of what you're doing. A lot of people don't understand if it's something in you calling you to do what you're doing, then keep on doing it. I can't tell you guys enough how many people judge me for quitting my job, and I'll make that in another video. They judge me on quitting my job to be a full-time candle maker. Um, a lot of people was playing me in my face too, you know, and it's like, look where I'm at now. And this is not to brag, this is for inspiration, you guys. I have been on the news, I have different connections now that I never thought that I would have. And that is with over, a little bit over a thousand followers on Instagram. Like, I don't, I didn't need a million. I didn't need that. And even if you are in the 300, 500 mark on your Instagram, we all have to start there. So you just have to have faith in you. And just don't give up. Don't give up. So the next thing that I want to talk about, I want to talk about getting your candle strong enough. You guys, I used to cry, okay? I would be in my kitchen thinking of ways I can make my candle stronger. And I would literally cry, like stirring a pie, like, oh my God, I can't smell nothing. Like, what is happening? I'm doing everything that I can. Like, what is going on? Like... I've tried so many wicks, like nothing is working for me. I've stirred two to three minutes, nothing is working for me. So I know how frustrating that can be. I know how frustrating that can be, but you gotta stick with it, babe. If this is something that you really, really, really wanna do, and you can see it changing your life, you're gonna have to stick with it. You're gonna have to pray. God is number one with everything. I'm not doing any of this stuff alone and neither are you. So I know that you're not really shocked by now. I am a very spiritual person. There's no way that I could do what I'm doing without having some type of spiritual practice, some type of prayer, some type of connection to the higher power. There's just no way that I could do this. I'm not doing it alone. So yes pray on it ask god ask the universe to send you signs to give you um the right ingredients on how to make your stuff stronger if you see something pop up on the internet as far as somebody's um recipe that is not a coincidence if you see different things popping up for different ideas for you to do things and create that is not coincidental I'm telling you, if you ask, it will be given to you. And that, that's a whole part of entrepreneurship, I believe, too, is a spiritual aspect to it. Because you have to believe in something, even if it's yourself, you have to believe in something. So back on topic, I just don't want you to get discouraged if people are unfollowing you. Because people don't follow me every day, baby. Oh, well. Oh, here comes my daughter. You okay? Mm -hmm. 
You want some more? You want some more? You know what? I'm probably not gonna be able to do this right now. Let me see. <laughs> All right, girl, I'm back, my daughter. Anyways, um, where was I at? Oh, focusing on your followers. <sighs> That's just uh, a part of it. It's gonna go up and down. I remember when I hit a thousand subscribers in the same day, three people unsubscribed. Not unsubscribed, I'm sorry. I have made a thousand followers on Instagram. In that same day when I made an announcement that I had made 1K in my following, three people unfollow me. So that put me back in the 900s. And I mean, that's okay. You have to be okay with that. We don't know these people personally. We just don't. And the people that love us and support us, that means the world. That is everything because they don't have to. But it means that they genuinely love you as a person. Right? That's just how I feel about it. So let's get into the next thing. The other thing would be, I know this video is all over the place. The next thing would be, um, okay, this one. Seeing people that started after you get ahead of you. Seeing people that started after you get ahead of you. It is hurtful. It can be very hurtful because it's like, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? And truthfully, you may be doing something wrong. That's why I said, look into what you're doing. Be very intentional about what you're doing. If you know that you are giving amazing quality content, you're putting out quality products and you know that deep within and you have a purpose with doing this, then believe that but we also have to be completely real with ourselves what could i be doing wrong it could be nothing or it could be something you just have to go deep within to feel that out yourself but seeing that can be very hurtful do not let that stop you because that's just a part of the game and that may even be a part of your story we're all gonna have a story to tell like i always like have these imaginations in my head where I'm thinking like you know what whatever struggle that I'm going through right now is going to be a testimony for me to tell other people as I'm sitting here today girl I've been through it all seriously I've had major people stop messing with me for nothing but see the devil will come in different ways too to try to throw you off Especially, I'm going to keep saying, especially if you know that you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing. Now, it's a different thing if you are putting out bogus products and just trying to hurry up and make some money real quick. That's really bogus. And of course, you're not going to go far with doing that because your intentions aren't pure. So as long as your intentions are pure and you are doing the best that you can, you're being the best person that you can be as far as being a great business owner, entrepreneur, and giving the people what they want, then don't worry about it. We have to let stuff like that go. We can't stay stuck on that. We can't stay stagnant because of certain people not supporting us the way that they're supporting others and i mean that is okay that is okay like my husband always tells me like we could either get there overnight or we can take our time we could take our time and build really build connections really build relationships really build a genuine community because you can have all the followers in the world but if those people aren't really truly your supporters and um in your community like a sister would be or a family member would be then what's the point because that's what i see all of my true supporters and followers as um just great sisters sisterhood whatever the case may may be like i have men buy for me as well but it's just so much deeper than just making money. You really have to have a passion for what you do or it's not gonna work. This is not gonna work. Another 
thing I would say is continue to test. Testing your marketing, testing um, your candles till this day. I still test every candle in each batch to make sure that I'm providing the highest quality of what I'm supposed to be giving. You just always want to be ahead of your business or whatever you have going on so nobody can hold that against you. So you'll have the pure intent in your heart of, I'm putting out what I'm supposed to be putting out. And just don't give up. You cannot give up. Don't let other people make you give up. Don't let the actions of others make you give up. Whether they say, well, these candles don't smell good or these body butters, they too rough or whatever the case may be. You cannot let that stop you. Now for me, I love when people do that. I love when somebody does that because it motivates me even more. And it makes me really look into it like, okay, is it this? Maybe it is that, and I'm just in denial. But people are always gonna have something to say. And I don't know about you, but it's always with like my family that always has something to say that can be very like, and I get it, it's to protect. It's to protect because a lot of people don't know what it is to be outside a nine to five. Nobody knows what it's like to try to build a business. Like some people just don't know what that's like. And I mean, that's okay, but don't take advice from them. Even if you need to back up and separate yourself for a while until you can um, focus on what you're trying to do, what the people think is impossible, is definitely possible for you. Sometimes you're going to have to separate yourself from those type of people, your family, friends. Like the beginning of my journey, I lost everybody because entrepreneurship is more than selling a product. It's a journey. And the people that's not supposed to be there with you are going to fall off. And it does get lonely, it does. But I'm grateful to have my kids and my husband. And I do spend a lot of time with my mom as well. So I'm grateful to have those people. But some people don't have that. It'd be those people that's criticizing them. And sometimes you do, you're gonna have to take a step back from people. Not to say that you have to hate them, not to say that you don't have to talk to them at all, but you're gonna have to separate yourself to become the best version of yourself. You're going to have to do things that you don't want to do. Like, even with this video today, girl, it took me forever. Like, I'm running around trying to get my daughter together, get them snacks so they can stay in their playroom back here so I can get this video done today. You got to push yourself. You got to be disciplined. Please do not give up on your business. I don't know who you are, but if you're listening to me right now, if you're looking at me right now, Please do not give up. Do not give up. It is hard. It can be so hard because you don't know. But that's what faith is. Faith is just jumping into the unknown and not knowing what's going to happen. Not knowing. But there is a knowing because you feel the presence. Like I said, entrepreneurship is just so much like people glamorize it but it's really so much it's so much girl and I just want you to know that you're not alone we're all crying in the back room some days because we're like oh my god we're frustrated because sales aren't where they need to be or I was doing better last year or whatever the case may be but you gotta know that this is entrepreneurship and that's what happens things go up and down up and down all the time so please don't give up. Please don't give up. I know I was all over the place in this video, but I know that the women and the ladies that's here are going to understand me, are going to feel me through the screen, or if you're listening to my voice right now, I know somebody needs to hear this because I needed to hear it at one point. And I just want you to know everything that you're going through, you're not alone. Just stay focused. That is the main thing you can do is focus and pray and just put great intentions out there and keep becoming better. Keep evolving. I love you guys. And if you're new here, please don't like. 
I love you guys. And if you're new here, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you love this video today. And I will check you guys out in the next video. I love you so much and stay prayed up. Don't ever give up. We're on these journeys for a lifetime. We not going nowhere, period.